Oscar, do you know whose face is on the U.S. quarter? Um, is it Abraham Lincoln? Mm, nope. That's the penny and the $5 bill. Okay, okay. Um, is it Thomas Jefferson? Nice try, but no. Thomas Jefferson is on the nickel and the elusive $2 bill. Oh, oh I, I know. It's Benjamin Franklin. No, oh, dude. That's on a $100 bill. You know, Benjamin's. Okay, I give up. Just tell me. It's George Washington. Oh. I probably should have gotten that. Yeah, it's cool, it's cool. But now we're getting trickier. Who else is on the U.S. quarter? What? Let me explain. The U.S. Mint, a.k.a. the establishment within the U.S. Treasury that prints money and produces coins, just started rolling out quarters that feature the late American poet, author, and social activist Maya Angelou. The coin is part of the American Women's Quarters Program, which showcases important women from history. And Maya Angelou is the first black woman to appear on any U.S. coin. Wow, I had no idea that the U.S. Mint printed quarters with different people on them. But I like it! Yeah, I think it's awesome. As time goes by, there are more and more important Americans that we should honor. And why not with money? I couldn't agree more. Okay, I know you said that Maya Angelou was a poet, author, and social activist, but can you tell me and the viewers more about her? <laughs> it would be my pleasure. Maya Angelou was born in 1928 in St. Louis, Missouri. She grew up in the segregated South and faced trauma and racism at a very young age. Angelou was interested in writing early on and was particularly drawn to poetry, memorizing the poems of Shakespeare and Edgar Allan Poe. In the 1950s, Angelou became active in the Civil Rights Movement and joined the Harlem Writers Guild in New York City that supported publication of black writers. In 1969, Angelou published I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings, an autobiography of her life that showcased her immense strength in the face of childhood trauma and racism. The book resonated with readers, helped others tell their own stories, and propelled Maya Angelou to a worldwide stage. Angelou went on to publish countless other works, including poems, plays, screenplays, books, children's books, and even cookbooks. Additionally, she was the first black and female inaugural poet reciting on the Pulse of Mourning at Bill Clinton's 1993 inauguration. One of my favorite Maya Angelou poems is called Still I Rise. It starts like this. You may write me down in history with your bitter, twisted lies. You may trod me in the very dirt, but still, like dust, I'll rise. Angelou's strength as a black woman inspires those around her to rise. This includes Amanda Gorman, the youngest inaugural poet in U.S. history and author of The Hill We Climb. In 2014, Maya Angelou died at the age of 86, but her words, strength, and inspiration live on. Here's a special video of former First Lady Michelle Obama speaking at Maya Angelou's funeral. Because in so many ways, Maya Angelou knew us. She knew our hope, our pain, our ambition, our fear, our anger, our shame. And she assured us that despite it all, in fact, because of it all, we were good. And in doing so, she paved the way for me and Oprah and so many others just to be our good old black woman selves. She showed us. She showed us that eventually, if we stayed true to who we are, then the world would embrace us. And she did this not just for black women, but for all women, for all human beings. So Oscar, what do you think? What do I think? Maya Angelou is an inspiration and certainly deserves to be on the coin. I couldn't agree more. Thank you, Maya Angelou, for still encouraging others to rise.